For this week's reading log, we chose the Orbis Pictus Award winners, and I chose the book, A Splash of Red, which is the 2014 Orbis Pictus Award winner, and it's by Jen Bryant, and it's illustrated by Melissa Sweet. The publisher is Alfred A. Knopf of New York, and the copyright date is 2013. The genre is biography, nonfiction, and a picture book. And there's 40 pages, and I would say it's appropriate for kindergarten through third grade, maybe fourth or fifth too, if, depending on the teacher and the lesson that they're wanting to teach with it. Um, the reflection. So basically, these two people named Daniel and Christine Pippin gave birth to a boy named Horace. Um, so when he was three, him and his family moved to New York, and he was born in Pennsylvania. Um, he, was all, he was always helping his family out. Um, he helped his mother, sisters, and baby brother all the time to help his family. Um, he loved drawing pictures, and he kind of was a self-taught um, illustrator, I would say. He taught himself how to draw. Um, he drew things that he had seen during the day, or if he looked at something, um, right in front of him he could draw it out and try to make it come alive on his paper. Um, one day he saw a drawing in a magazine that said draw me and win a prize and so he did he copied what it said to draw on the thing and he actually won he got a package in the mail a few weeks later that was um, just some art supplies <clears throat> and then a congratulations note so he won. When he was in eighth grade his father left their family and so um, this kind of forced them into poverty and so he had to actually quit school so he could help his family out and support and provide for them. Um, he did a lot of manual labor jobs but he missed drawing. Um, he joined the army um, because there was a big war going on. Um, whenever the fighting would stop for a while he would draw. Um, his soldier friends always liked seeing his drawings. And during the war, he was hit in the right arm with a gun, and so he had a gunshot wound, and he was left unconscious for a few hours, but they finally found him alive, and he was lucky to be alive, but he lost a lot, most function in his right arm, so he couldn't draw anymore. And he was very upset about that, and then due to that, um, he had a hard time keeping job after that. Um, he moved back to the United States after the war and got married, but he couldn't really support his wife because he it was hard for him to keep a decent job since he didn't have that arm to lift things with. Um, but he still had a strong desire in his heart to draw, um, so he decided to grab his left hand and take it and hold his right arm and he could draw. He was starting to draw again um, just by holding his right arm in place. Um, he went back to painting everyday things and he hung all of his paintings that he was doing in a shoe store window and nobody was really interested until one day when the president of a local artist club offered him his own art show and that was a big thing for him and him and his wife celebrated people came from all over and he became a well-known artist the theme of the book is to never give up even when times get hard and when you think you aren't going to be able to do what you love to do anymore um, with courage, strength, and hope, you can do anything you put your mind to. And then the illustrations, they're done mostly in watercolor, I think some colored pencil and some other mixed media. So here's some. And then usually there's, the t based on the title, a splash of red, there's a lot of like little splashes of red in each one. But they're really, they take up entire pages and they're very colorful. They really tell his, um, they really correspond with the story on each page and tell his life story and everything that he went through to be a successful artist. I think this is good for children because it shows them um, no matter what t hard times they have, they should never give up. Um, for example, he taught himself how to draw and through living in poverty, being injured and having a disability through his injury, he still eventually found a way to come back and continue what he loved doing. Um, some life skills that children can take from this include determination, courage, and hard work. And then as a strategy or activity, I would remind my students that Horace Pippin was a keen observer of life 
and over the course of a day or week I would have them keep a sketchbook and just draw or paint everything that they see in their everyday life and what they like to see just like he did. And then after that time period I would have them get together in groups and I would ask them how, how can they use their observations to tell a story like he did. Um, I would have them just get into groups and share their drawings and compare it with each other.